Welcome everybody to the 16th annual uh, JDP Symposium, so Joint, joint Doctoral Program Symposium. We're uh, specifically speaking about the Joint Doctoral Program in Engineering Sciences between San Diego State University and University of California, San Diego. We did start our first symposium in 2007. My name is Maryam and I'm in the Joint Doctoral Program uh, between UCSD and SCSU. I'm doing uh, Environmental Engineering at SCSU and uh, Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering at UCSD. I was always actually curious about microbial uh, programs, um, so I found Dr. Vibila in um, Environmental Engineering that he's working on this area and it was so interesting. We have a very good lab mate, uh, very good professor, very interesting project. So. That's why, and also it's really important. It's the thing that it's going on right now and you know, everyone's worried about. So why don't you want to know uh, everything ahead of time? It corresponds also to the growth of our engineering faculty, which uh, starting from 2015 actually increased by 60%. And it's not only the number wise increase, but it's also, uh, I would say, um, change, dramatic change in the composition of our faculty because 60% of those that we have right now in the College of Engineering as professors, they have been hired during the last seven years. They are all uh, not only new, but they are um, uh, all research active. Uh, you know that one of the major missions of the university is, of course, uh, the accessibility, the teaching, instruction, but uh, a very important component is uh, scientific research right now and uh, almost every single faculty in our college is actively contributing uh, to this um, very important mission. We have uh, tripled the number of our research dollars during the last seven years. Right now we're at the maximum of our research productivity and again it's not only from the numerical viewpoint but also qualitatively. Just one Important example, you probably heard about uh, the most prestigious for junior faculty awards that any junior faculty in STEM area can obtain uh, in this country. It is the so-called career awards, in particular National Science Foundation grants those. And uh, only during the last year, uh, we received 10 such awards and also early research initiation awards in this college, this is really, really a dramatic uh, change and uh, degree of success. Uh, now, almost every third of our junior faculty is a career awardee. So this is prestigious award and it's also substantial award, which allows supporting doctoral students. So more than 60%, I think maybe close to 70%, percent of our students are directly supported by faculty grants. Hi, so my name is Mark Smith and I'm part of the mechanical engineering program working at the experimental mechanics lab. It's definitely challenging but it's very fun and I'm learning a great deal of information. Uh, it's very applied so now working in the lab I get to work with a lot of machinery and a lot of equipment and instruments to be able to directly Test, like you come up with an experiment, you test it, you rework it, then you get the results that you're trying to look for, you perform analysis, and then finally you're trying to tell this to other people, you're trying to convey what you've researched. So it's really trying to be a well-rounded engineer, in my opinion, to go into this program.